this application, you may have seen some mention of it actually out on the boards out there. It's an application called Puzzle Touch. So basically, this is a Silverlight application. Uh, we're probably going to get a little bit of network late. Well, it's actually running a little bit faster. The conference network was slow previously. So this application, it's running in the browser right now. I'm just going to pull up one of these uh, videos. It's a jigsaw puzzle application. And the application is called Puzzle Touch. However, it's completely you know, mouse usable. So if you were to publish an application like this, the changes in the UI for them to move it from a touch version to a, or from a mouse version to a touch version, it's actually, there's really nothing that's being done differently, aside from handling touch specific events for things like uh, panning and zooming where you may not do that with the mouse. So let me just go into one of these puzzles here. So what this app is doing is they've taken a you know, full motion video, they've sliced it into puzzle pieces, and then you can, you know, casual game where you can actually just put the puzzle together based on the video pieces. But if we look at the experience, you know, all the actions of kind of you know, moving and navigating with the pieces, this is all translated as normal mouse movement. Sure, I'm sorry about that. Oh, there you go. I was trying to see it. So, question from the touch to the Windows 7 touch sequence that says it was faster than the iOS. You know, if Microsoft is doing something to that. So, this is very Windows 7. Well, what do you mean when you say it's not as, it's not as sensitive? Because there's a lot of things that play into it. Like most tablets previously were, you know, there's different tablet screen technologies. Like Event reporting, I would imagine that from a, from a software standpoint, you would be seeing the same level of support. So, what in particular are you? Well, just like when you try to track it, mm -hmm. and I've done it for myself too. Yeah. It has a little bit of a delay. But there's so many things that are playing into this, it's, it's so hard to. I also develop for iOS. Yeah. notice uh, instead of in this application instead of doing you know because it was originally a mouse based application they've added these uh, handles on the side for rotation so as a user uses the mouse they can still navigate the application just fine or a touch user you know you have this direct manipulation and you know you get a much better experience without having to add any additional development time they've also introduced you know controls to the side for zoom so that as a mouse user you know you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out or user you can scroll here. This one didn't actually introduce any multi-touch, but I'll show you another multi-touch <coughs> on the side. The point is, is that you can take existing mouse-based applications and with only making some considerations in how you build your user interface, you can make them very touch-optimized and a much better experience for touch-based devices with no additional 